Alright guys, welcome back. Had surgery a couple days ago, so I can't really go anywhere. So I thought I'd do a couple little tackle videos finally. After about a year saying I was going to start them. Today is going to basically be uh, jig heads and painting jig heads. But uh, it's uh, November 1st, so trout season just ended. So i got to get me some marabou's made up for... Bennett try to get some uh, catch and release fish. So, lead's pretty much melted. Of course, we're out in the old shop. As you can tell by all the birds, probably, and the dog. But what we're working with, you know, do it mold. This is the only mold I use lead wise. Gonna make uh, four. 32nd ounce, 4 16th ounce. We're gonna kind of, I'm gonna start out making a few for trout and then we're gonna shoot a couple for uh, some crappie hair jigs I make. So we'll go ahead and get started. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and do the crappie hooks because it'll be a little bit easier to tell what the heck's going on. Now, see any little jig molds there? You got a little spot there for the eye of the hook. Of course, that'll be your lead and your hook will follow down that shaft. Going to be doing, once again, four one thirty seconds, four sixteenths. Uh, these are a few hair jigs I tie. I'm going to put number six hooks on the one thirty seconds. And then on the sixteenths will be a number four. Of course, you're not going to use as big of a hook. In the winter for hair jigs. Of course, the most common is the one sixteenth number, number four. Now I will make them with um, bigger hooks for the guys that go down to Lake Fork and stuff in the winter. But pretty much, I go with it. Tell the hook size difference there. Pretty big difference. Lead's warmed up. Usually, I'll uh, have a mask when I'm doing this, but I'm not going to be out here very long. I'm going to make about 20 or 30 and call it good. So, we'll go from this angle. and Got a Lee a gravity fed pot. These things are amazing compared to the little hand pour. So, all right, listen for a good click. Like I said, I'm gonna get that pot clean, so you gotta kind of manually stop it every time or it'll keep dripping. Now, look. Pretty good run on those. Like I said, I'm not going to do too many uh, 30 seconds. Do this about two more times. Call it good. We'll have a video later on on these crappie hair jigs I'm going to be making. And this is pretty much how all of your jig heads pretty much go along.
seven. I guess I'll go ahead and show you guys, you know, one screw lock, kind of a little. Alright, go ahead and show you guys one screw lock here. Problem with these, as you can see, one at a time. Starting all the way at your 16th down here, which is your common shooters, the main one I sell. We can go all the way up to a 3 8 size. Of course, I never sell any of those hardly. I do sell a few of these quarters with a, a 2 out hook for some smallmouth. But this mold's kind of cold. We'll see if it works. So your typical number 2 sickle. And you got your little screw lock. Of course, they're all 90 degree bends. You'll slide that through there like that. See if it'll focus there. And then you just kind of set it in there and hope it kind of works out really good. And this is a number one J hook. I do have a guy that orders a lot of these and a 16th to shoot jock docks with pretty heavy tournament guy and we'll make I'll go with a oop, I'll do a 3 16th and we'll do an 8th so I guess kind of set them in there just like everything else these just have a little extra step Try to get you adjusted here. Try to get where you guys to see what the heck's going on. Just pop it real quick, tighten it down. Oh, sorry for being a little shaky there. Take it, you open it up. There you got two screw locks. So, that's pretty much how lead runs. It's all a lot the same. A couple things you got to put a few parts on. A few things, I mean, your normal jig heads is nothing. Pony heads, you got a few things to deal with, some sizes. But, pretty laid back, like I said, though. Um, I'm in the shop. The doors are open. Usually I have the fan on. We have a hole in the roof now that kind of airs out too, but leads can some dangerous stuff. So got to be smart with that. And like I said, usually I got a filter I work on out here and uh, probably only been out here about 20 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and call that good. Show what we got kind of. Of course, we've had kind of a slow 20 minutes trying to figure out some stuff, but that's what we got. I'm gonna make these gold hooks into some marabou's. We got us a bunch of little crappie jigs, and we're about to go uh, work on paint. All right, the next step, basically, I always do a little bit of extra lead on them. That way I can just take them, take your pliers, wiggle them back and forth, and that way you don't have to regrip your pliers all the time. Just wiggle them. Got to be careful. Only push the lead. Don't want your hooks coming loose. So one part I don't really like about the jig heads is this step. But 
You gotta do them. So you just take your extra lead and throw it in something. And here's what we're left with. Like, like I said, we're gonna paint a couple of these up for the crappie jigs and the hair jigs and some uh, marabou's for catch and release. So we're just doing the ball heads today. So as you can see, we got our couple piles we got. And just got to figure out what color paint we're gonna do. Which we have a pretty good assortment here. Pretty much everything you can think of. They've already got a paint of it made up. Between, I use about two companies. Uh, Jan's Netcraft. I like them for your basic colors. You know, your solid whites, blacks. They're a little bit cheaper than the Protec stuff. Which Protec isn't, isn't bad. I've just had a couple issues with a couple colors being real clumpy and stuff of course i don't i don't use an air bed to really clean them up too much um try to see if i can find it this one here is a custom color i've got made up that's your glow in the dark monkey milk start to sell quite a few of those and you can take these and do pretty much any color combination you really want to try. Yeah. Now before I turn on the heat gun, talk a little bit. Get a little bit out of the way. I'm just going to show you a single color real quick. Pliers. Get any of those. Obviously paint. Taking the paintbrush, went in there and started around real good, thinned it up. Gonna fire this heat gun up, gonna let it heat over for about oh, 10, 10 seconds to start because it's gonna be starting off cold. And do a real quick dab in there, sitting on a drying rack, grab another one. So, we'll let this start heating up. Heat it all the way around. Real quick dab in there. See it's still kind of powdery, starting to get a little glossy. That's fine because you're going to put it in the oven. It'll heat up and get better after that. A little bit bigger of a jig head. Not too much longer. Quick, quick run through the pink. Kind of want to go in at an angle. And just touch the black on there like that. That's all it is to the two tones. I have a lot of guys that'll actually paint their own stuff. I'll make their jig heads and. They go and paint them. I'm completely okay with that. We don't, oop, there's a mess up. We don't uh, stock a lot of painted stuff because everybody wants a different hook, a different style, a different size, a different color. So it's kind of hard to really stay ahead on that. Usually we got pink in just about every one because that's the main color we use. But as far as needing stuff, we mostly do the painted jig heads orders. Another one. A couple of multi colors. Show you guys how to do the eyes in a little bit. There's that monkey milk and electric monkey. 
glow in the dark. Basically, just dip the end of the paintbrush in there. So you wouldn't get this close enough. Then I'm going to straight put a dot on it. Do a really small circle. Dot. Do a small circle. And that's going to that's gonna be your first color. A lot of single color jig heads will just have a black dot eye. You don't want a water based paint for this. Always look for the oil based. These have these are this is just like forty five seconds later. But we should be able to get it. Now on this one I'm just gonna straight barely touch it. Don't want to move around. Just barely touch it. That's all you got to do there. And that's the closest way to get pretty much perfect circles without being real, real artsy.